does. All right, we're live. Let me check the post. All right. What's going on? So, yeah, we are here. We are live, live right? So, we got viewer. Let What's up, man? A, what's going on? Hold on. Let me make a, a comment here. Actually, there's a banner. So let me create a banner to remind people to um, to comment. Yes, right. So click on the link uh, on the comment to join the conversation so we can actually uh, broadcast your comment on the stream and we can answer your questions accordingly. So it should be streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. Is it? Yeah, so I'm going to put it here. Put it yeah, right, sure. HTTP, email.com slash Facebook. Right, perfect. So let's, let's start. So here is the episode one of Scaling with Automation, and we'll be building an automated agency with you from zero, and we'll take it to $100,000 in the least amount of time humanly possible. So if you want to join the Convo live, just uh, type in streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. So you can enter uh, the thread. Uh, yeah, so streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. It's, it's in the comment. Can you just put it on Facebook, Rory? Yeah, So I think it's automatically there, but I'm going to comment anyway. Yes, it, it should be above, above the live. So yes let's dive in yeah man i mean you want to wait let's see we oh yeah we got seven people yeah right oh. so let me quickly share so make sure you get permissions and start commenting man so um if if you guys want us to add something or you have any questions get that permission from um give permission to Streamyard to comment and let's see what we got right so you guys have my screen Let's see. Right there. You got my screen? Yeah, go full screen. You can hide your, yeah. Full screen, it's working? Yeah, man. You see? Awesome, awesome. Looks Let's good. dive in. So, yes. So, scaling with automation, episode one here. What we're going to do is we're going to start from zero, scratch, absolute zero, nothing. And we're going to build an automated agency, hands free. And we're going to take it to $100,000 in the least amount of time humanly possible. So here, before we go ahead, let us give you the overall agenda of our podcast. And the show. if you're watching it live, uh, click streamyard.com forward slash Facebook to be on. Uh, and we can stream, broadcast your comment. And you can join us here. If you're watching a replay, just uh, drop in your comment in the comment section below. And we will, uh, someone, me or Rory, will reach out to you and will help you personally. If you are watching it on YouTube, uh, you have all the resources in, in the description below. You have a link to our Facebook group and IGTV and the PDFs, slides, everything that you need to build along. So <clears throat> the reason, the overall agenda of our show is, number one, the reason I hate courses, trainings, and webinars and stuff like that, for a 10 minute real talk, they're gonna speak for an hour and you need to sit for 45 minutes and one hour to get 10 minutes of real piece of content. So you can nickname it as the no BS show, no bullshit here, we'll cut the crap and we will talk straight to the point, okay? The second thing is no gimmick, no joke here, we're not hiding anything, whatever it is, we are making it real time. I see there are people who made millions online, put it into a course, and sell for like how much five grand? I don't know. So uh, I don't I don't know someone has done this before. If yes, please put up the comment section below so that we can know we are doing it real time with you so that you can see us building it. And it's a done yeah. with you thing. So we encourage you to join us and do it by yourself. Ask us questions so that you can also build your agency from scratch and take it to a hundred thousand dollars. If you are already running an agency 
or you are an independent contractor or a business owner or a freelancer or starting to think of or you already have clients you can actually use our systems and processes which can automate most of your tasks so that you get more time uh, to focus on what's more important or more time to for growing your business so yeah the last agenda the fourth is that to take it to $100,000 in the least amount of time humanly possible sorry yeah so we are moving to the next slide so here is the $100,000 breakdown the so phase 1 would be 0 to $10,000 so this part is the toughest part where you are at absolute zero and uh, you have no clients, no one knows you, you don't have money to run ads, and you want to reach $10,000 as soon as possible. So this phase is the toughest phase and we're gonna do it and we're gonna do it all organic. We're not gonna spend any money on ads so that if you do not have money to spend on ads at the moment, you can actually do what we are doing and replicate it and start building with us. So we'll be using pure organic and we'll be using referrals, like leveraging your personal network. Leveraging your personal network is key when you're starting starting off from scratch. What do you say about this, Roy? Yeah, I mean, just watch what we're doing, right? Like, we're already doing it. So you should be analyzing all the steps that we're taking. We haven't really broken everything down yet, but like um, Tahin is saying, there's no gimmicks or anything. We're sharing the screenshots. We're sharing live video like this. We're, you know, we're doing um, actual screen sharing and showing. We're even sharing the mistakes. So the organic yeah. part is the organic part is is what we're doing now. Like, go look at our profiles and see how we set up our profiles. We'll talk more about this later, but you know, like I joined yeah. I joined a lot of people's. Um, like email lists, right? Like Russell Brunson and and uh, Jay Abraham and Dean Jackson. Like I follow all their stuff, not because I'm going to buy their stuff, but because I'm watching what they're doing. So part of the organic stuff that we're doing, watch what we're doing and start copying it, you know, like start create your group already, you know, and start preparing everything. Right, right, exactly. So this phase is gonna be the toughest phase. So if you are starting off and if you want to build it with us, then please pay attention to this part because this is, see look, a lot of people say organic is dead. Organic works like fucking magic. We'll show you how, okay? So the phase two is where you gain some momentum and you have some money. Phase two is actually 10K to 30K. So here a lot of agency owners, a lot of contractors fuck up because here you have money and you don't know what to do. You, you make mistakes, you hire the wrong person, you invest on the wrong tools, you throw out money on ads, you take more clients than you can deliver, you do not. That's where systems and processes and delegation comes into action. This is very important where you need to get organized. So phase two is more about systems and processes. Uh, on phase two, yes, we have some money. So you need to spend money to make money, right? So on phase two, <clears throat> we are at 10K. So 10K to 30K, we do paid ads organic and referrals we do all of those three and we build out automation we build out systems and processes we we build out training modules for our virtual assistants so we will show you everything as we go by so phase two is where you gain some momentum and you go to 30k so once you hit 30k this is the phase three 30k to 100k trust me it's easy this is the easiest part when you scale past 30K because you already have uh, testimonials, you have video testimonials, you have results. Most important thing, do not ignore me on this, you have confidence. Now it's all talk, right? When you haven't done anything, when you have made 30K, you have that thing within yourself. The confidence comes from within, right? So you have built up systems and processes, you have SOPs, like standard operating procedures, you have all the docs, you have your outreach method set up, your closers are trained, at least you have done like 50 strategy sessions or, or sales call. So 30 to 100K is, is like the easiest part. So where here we do paid ads, organic, referrals, and info products, right? That's where you scale. So you put $5 in and you get like $10 out of a 
of a, of the thing stuff that you are selling maybe it, it it can be an ebook it can be a system it can be a course it, we will uh, build it along the way right so this is the 100k breakdown rory you want to say talk something about this yeah well i mean you covered it all man you just you know going from phase 1 where we're not spending any money right it's important yeah. because you know it's easy to say like yeah we can tap into the bank account and and start spending you know a thousand dollars a month on ads and right bro listen we can max out our credit card and in 30 days we can reach 100k so that's not what we want you to do or others should do because a lot of people do not have access right or or it's risky why would you spend money when you haven't made anything there is like proof of concept right when you are at 10k you want to scale i would say bro max out your credit card you go all in right so yeah Yeah, then when you get to phase two, what happens is, all right, you organically you picked up a couple of clients, and that's great. And then phase two comes, and like Tuhin was saying, then you you know like you you blow your money. Like if you've gotten this far without your agency, let's just assume you still haven't made any money. So it, it, let's say you get two clients or three paying clients, and now you're at phase uh -huh. two. Reinvest that money into your business. Like you've gotten this far without it. Don't go running out and start buying things. Like this is, you're still building the business just because you got some money coming in doesn't mean that's it. It's over. Take that money and then that's when we're going to start leveraging paid ads, right? That's exactly. In exactly. that phase two. And then phase three is a whole different monster, which um, Tuhin says it's easier, but um, it's easier. It just takes work. It takes work. Yeah. yeah, right. Because it's easier because you have your systems and processes in place, right? So you have your agency funnel ready you have your prospecting on autopilot your vas are trained you know so that, that's the reason it's easy so here here i want to mention one more thing rory uh, can you just check the facebook uh, live stream or, or do we have any comments or something or did anyone join the stream yard if not go to streamyard.com forward slash facebook to join us on the conversation and we can broadcast your uh, comments on the stream and Rory, can you go back and check with yeah. the no, internet what it's like? There's no comments or anything. So, you know, leave us comments, man. Let, in, let us know if you have any questions or you want us to talk a little bit more about something specific, you know? I mean, if not, we'll just move <laughs> forward, but let yeah, us, know. Right. Let us exactly. know what you think so far. It's not, you know, this isn't going to be an hour-long presentation. So usually what happens is we hang up and then people, re people think of questions like, oh, I should have asked them this, you know? So do it now while we're here, man. It'll help the other people. <laughs> yeah, right. So the phase three, 30, 30, 30 to 100K is easier because you have a system and processes in place, which you will build along. And uh, you have confidence. That's important, right? So let's move to the next slide. Now, <clears throat> week one, what we do is we assemble the machine, which is very important, right? So there are components to it, right? So you cannot just randomly scale from zero to 100K if your machine is not in place, right? So you're gonna make, we're gonna make a monster machine that's gonna make us money, right? So number one, the first thing you're gonna do is because we, we're gonna do, we are doing it all organic. So the first thing we're gonna do is you have to leverage your personal network. So we're gonna talk about profile funnel in a few, but uh, just give me a second, yes. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna leverage your personal network. For an example, and then you gotta pick a niche, right? You need to work with one niche. Why? I'm gonna explain to you. For an example, here in this for this show, uh, scaling with automation from zero to 100K, we are we'll be working with roofers. We'll start at zero and we'll get like a hundred roofer on board working with us all over the states, right? One niche because you can actually replicate when you get a new client you do not need to start building everything all over again you know the target audience you know the funnel you know the landing page you have the ads you know the images which works what works what not so it's like you onboard a client and you replicate what works in that way you save time number one you save time number two you serve your clients better because you do one thing over and over again you start getting better at it and you are doing what, what works, what's proven, so you can give better service delivery, you save time, and number three is that uh, you can scale. That's, that's, that's the easiest way and the quickest way to scale because you're not doing 10 different things, you're, you're working 
uh, for the same niche, so you're doing the same thing over and over again. So yeah, yeah. Rory, can yeah, yeah. So your, optimizing your optimizing your LinkedIn, your Facebook, and your uh, Instagram uh, profile funnel. Can you just talk a little bit about this? How we did it and how uh, we are, you know. So yeah, so. Again, the, the first point right there, leveraging your personal network. That's what we're doing right now, right? Like we're tapping into uh, you guys. We started the group. Uh, we're posting on our own personal profiles. Uh, we're creating the Twitters. We're creating the Instagrams. Like just start to get the machine going right there. That's that's important and that's let, free. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me just, just a minute. Let me just show. Here is our Instagram. So Instagram.com forward slash leads.ninja. We are close to 5,000 people in, in with three posts. That's it, right? So we will come back to it, how, how you do it, how to do it and stuff like that. So yeah, Rory, go ahead. Yeah, and then the picking the, your niche part is super important, right? Like it's easy. If you start building funnels for people, it's easy to get excited because the, someone else is going to come in and be like, oh, now build me a roofing funnel. Then someone else is going to come in and be like, oh, but I, I do HVAC. Can you get me dentist leads? And then you're like, yeah, yeah, I can do that too. I can do that too. But what's happening is then every time you have a new funnel, it takes a, it takes a long time to get that funnel up and running. It takes a long time to learn that whole new process, all the new emails and setting up you know, setting up the sequences and all that state takes time. And then you don't really know that that audience yet. So your ads aren't optimized. And so instead of wasting your not, it's not a waste, but instead of spending all that time on a new niche, if you want to grow fast, pick that one niche and then optimize it to death. Optimize. We'll get into optimization at another time, but you want to optimize the ads. Then you want to optimize your landing page and you want to optimize the emails and test, test your ads, test your landing page. Right, right. Emails, like every single thing. And then when you get in, then you, you start to learn your, your clients, right? So if you're doing like, we're going to start with roofing, then we're going to know how to reach roofers. So not only do we know roofing, not only will we be able to optimize the emails that we're going to send to our roofing clients, clients or prospects, but we actually will be able to optimize the ads that we're going to use to reach the actual roofing companies, right? We, we need to know the roofing company's pains. What, what issues are they having with lead generation? So then we, we become better at prospecting and getting our clients into our agency and we're also better at helping them with their clients because we're only focused on one niche right 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 exactly so yes so for this for the sake of this show zero to 100k we'll be doing it with roofers but like you said leverage your personal network so we'll we just we ask because we, we have, i've been doing it for a long long time so we've been also working with realtors and mortgage brokers but we do not suggest you to do with two three different niche We'll be working with realtors and mortgage brokers because they are reaching out to us and we have systems ready for them. But, uh, but if, if we, we had uh, done this with just mortgage uh, brokers and roofer, sorry, loan officers and mortgage brokers, so that would be bad. You know why? Because we already have it. So we want to build something with you. So with you, we start with zero with roofers, right? So you pick one niche uh, and now uh, people can ask me right, how to pick a niche. Right, that's an important question. So, any niche works, man. I mean, there is nothing good niche, bad niche. There's nothing like that. So, if you want us to uh, do a video on how to pick a niche, we'll we'll do that later. You can drop us uh, any questions you may have. So, yeah, the third thing is setting up your cold outreach, your email, your FB, your Instagram, your LinkedIn. So, as a rule of thumb. Every day, you should be reaching out to 5,000 people without fail, right? Through emails, through Facebook DMs, adding people on Facebook, on Instagram, and LinkedIn. So for an example, we'll be reaching out to 5,000 roofers every single day without fail using our cold outreach. So you cannot randomly sit and email, right? So you need a process. So we'll set up the, pro uh, set up the process of reaching out to 5,000 uh, roofers uh, every single day. So setting up the cold outreach method. Uh, and then the fourth one is setting up your agency funnel. So if someone wants to talk to you, uh, they come to your landing page, they watch a video, uh, they book an appointment with you. So the calendar, 
they receive a confirmation email, they receive a text notification 30 minutes before the appointment, maybe they receive a confirmation call to make sure they show up on the sales call, you know? So this is, this is what we call an agency funnel. So once you set up your cold outreach, the next part will be uh, setting up our agency funnel, which we'll do. Uh, and the fifth one is setting up your pitch deck. So when a roofer wants to get on a sales call with us or a discovery call, then we, we, you need to set up a pitch deck, right? What do you show, you know? So it should be, as, you know, it shouldn't be, it should be organized so that, you know, when, once you do like 10 to 15 or maybe 20 sales call, you do the same thing over and over again, you get better at it, right? So it should be a common pitch deck that you prepare and then you can improve it along the way. So uh, the fifth one is setting up our pitch deck, which we will do it, we'll do it with you. And the last and the most important thing is hiring a virtual assistant. For what? For doing the $2 per hour, $5 per hour task for you, right? For sending out emails every single day, for uh, checking positive replies and posting it on your Slack channel. We'll, we'll talk about it in the next slide. For sending up, uh, adding 50 people on Facebook every day and sending them DMs, 50 roofers, sending out uh, 50 IG DMs every day, uh, sending out LinkedIn messages, checking for positive replies, uh, uh, posting the positive replies on our Slack channel and setting up an appointment, confirmation call, right? So all this mitigate is $3, $5. If you, if you want to do it by yourself, you cannot focus on growing your agency. Like it means you are paying yourself for, I mean, Rory, can you say something about the importance of hiring a VA? It's most important, right? Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to scale, right? Like the whole idea here is to scale your agency, not to create a job for yourself, right? And a lot of people do that. They Like they're freelancing and they're picking up all these clients and they're doing the invoicing and they're doing the outreach and they're doing their Facebook and they're doing everything. And so what's happening is- Everything. You're right. killing yourself. Yeah. And you all you did was create a job for yourself. That's a, you know, it, it pays a little better than getting a job working for someone else, but you're not going to scale that way. You're going to, as that money starts coming in, you're going to scale by being able to um, get some virtual assistance and get some help. And, and especially, and we'll get into this later, man, this is just an intro, but when you start looking at your, yourself and what, what your skills actually are and what, and where you, if you're being honest with yourself and what you're not good right. at, and then you want to hire VAs that are good at what you're not good at. Right. But that's the, but that's, again, this is a, we can do a whole two, three hours just, just on that part alone. Talking about it. Yes. But cut the crap, keep it to the point. So yes, <laughs> if you do it by yourself, you can never reach hundred K. You will burn yourself out in 20 K max out. You'll max out. Right. So, so you need to be a shameless plug. I run a VA placement agency as well. I always say this on my videos. Right. So <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> move to the next slide. Yes, so I think we covered it all, Rory. Are we good to move? Yeah, man, yeah. I mean, with the cold email, we have an amazing system to create like, um, to, cr to create like basically a machine, which is what we're building. Um, Tuheen shared with me uh, something that he does for email outreach, cold email outreach, which is amazing. Um, the, yeah. way that, the way that we get the actual leads um, mm -hmm. is also very simple. We're gonna share that later, you know, later on. Yeah. We we're definitely going to get into detail when it comes to building the actual agency funnel. I mean, we're going to we're going to have snapshots for you to for you guys just to purchase and, and start right away. But, you know, that's only if yeah. you want it done for you. Right. If you want to do it yourself, with a lot of techies out there, then I'll, I'll get into step by step. You know what I've been doing to actually create these snapshots. You know? Right. The other thing I wanted to mention is that see, this is this is episode one. So next Saturday by next Saturday we assemble the machine and as we build it, we'll be sharing stories on our Instagram because we cannot share stories on Facebook group. So we'll be every day. I'll be, I'll be personally posting stories on my Instagram on our, uh, leads ninja Instagram. It's Instagram.com forward slash lead dot ninja. And we'll be posting stories on what we are doing, how we are setting up the email outreach, the templates we are using, the responses we are getting, the mistakes we are making, making how we are setting up our agency funnel, how we are preparing our pitch deck, everything will be shared on Instagram because we cannot go, we cannot post stories on Facebook group. And of course we'll be posting content on the group as well. 
So you can follow us on Instagram, watch our story and DM me there, or, or me, and, me or Rory will re, uh, reach out to you. How we are hiring a VA, and everything will be on our Instagram stories every single day for this week. So over this week, we will assemble the machine, which is ready to scale to $100,000. So we are moving to the next slide. Yeah, well, we have one question. We have one question from Jonathan. It says, um, how do you reach so many people a day and what email uh, do you use? We're gonna get into detail, uh, Jonathan, as we we get to those stages, right? Um, Yes. Right now, we're just doing everything organically with Facebook groups. You know, look at what we're doing. That's what we're doing now. When we get to like cold, once the machine is built and then we want to start priming, priming that pump and get and getting that machine going, then we'll talk about um, cold outreach and, and emails and all that. Yes, right. Jonathan, your task would be right now to optimize your personal profile on LinkedIn and Facebook, pick your niche, and... Uh, watch our Instagram stories where we'll be setting up cold outreach. The templates, how we are reaching 5,000 people, what we are doing every single day, I'll share live real results so that you can build yours along with us. And reaching 5,000 people a day, it's a child's play. It's easy, trust me. Mm-hmm. So, good to move. Setting up SOPs, SOPs, standard operating procedures. So, uh, though for those of you who do not know, setting up SOPs for your VAs. We use a simple software called Loom, loom loom.com, where we record the trainings for our VAs and we use Slack, we use Trello. So this is to uh, uh, about, I mean, like, Rory, it's your thing. You take over, right? (laughs) Yeah, and so we're going to get more into detail later on, but yeah, definitely Trello and, and with Trello and with Loom, you're set up nice. And now with within the software, within the CRM that we're gonna use. Uh, there's also a membership area, which will create a membership area for our virtual assistants and to get mm-hmm. them up to speed, right? Because as you start hiring more guys, you don't wanna have to individually train your VAs, right? Because in the beginning, they ha- they don't know your system. So it's very important to sell up a Trello with all the checklists, something that you can duplicate and you know the steps over and over every day. And then the Loom videos, mm-hmm. Um, so when you grab those new virtual assistants, they can watch all the videos and learn the system, right? This, it's all about systems, right? We call it the machine for a reason, right? Uh, something that I hear all the time, I hear people, when they talk about systems, they ask people in the audience and they'll say, who here can make a better hamburger than McDonald's? Because, and everyone can make a better hamburger than McDonald's, right? It just takes time, right? But you use different seasoning and whatever. So everyone agrees that they can make a better hamburger, but why Why aren't we selling more hamburgers than McDonald's? You know, why Why does McDonald's sell more hamburgers? And that's because McDonald's is run basically by a bunch of teenagers. And, and this is not to put them down at all, it, but right. it's run by a bunch of teenagers and young managers because they have an amazing system in place. They have their SOPs in place. That's how they create a machine that can actually sell billions and billions of hamburgers. It's all about the system. Right. right. So, yes, uh, let me just quickly breathe. So what we're gonna do is, let me go back to the previous slide. Week one, we're gonna assemble the machine. Our, our personal uh, network is already optimized. So you can just look at our profile. So optimize your profile. For example, you're working with insurance agents. So add insurance agents as friends, post relevant content. So optimize your Facebook and your uh, LinkedIn accordingly. So and join the start group. adding friends. Join the groups. Join the groups where your niche hangouts. Join relevant Facebook groups. That's, oh my God, that's good. That's good. Pick your niche. Pick your niche, and then we'll set up cold outreach. We will uh, put it on our IG. We'll set up the funnel, page deck. And next week on episode two, our machine will be ready, where we'll show you uh, what we have done. We'll show you the machine, and then we start prospecting. And then, if I can go back, then we enter phase one. We start reaching zero to 10K as soon as possible. So we are pretty much done for episode one. Thank you for joining in. Rory, over to you. Yeah, man. Well, it was fun, man. We're going to try and keep it fun and real. As you can tell, this wasn't a a Hollywood studio production, but 
Uh, we're just sharing as we go, you know? So even yeah. throughout the week, we might share some, you know, five minute videos here and there on the Instagrams. So go to, when you go to the Facebook group, we're going to probably start adding all the, all the accounts, the YouTube account, the Instagram account, everything on the left, even our personal ones. So you can see what we're doing on our personal, what on our personal profiles, on our, our, our group profiles, on our company profiles. You know, again, just start analyzing what we're doing. We don't have to, give you the step by yeah. step all the time. Just look at what we're doing and start doing it. Yeah, and ask questions on the group, you know? Just post it on the group because we all are doing it so people will reach out to you. And we will be uploading all the episodes on our YouTube channel, we'll create a playlist. Uh, the episodes will be on the group for 24 hours, so I'll remove it. So I want to keep it more organized, right, Rory? So we'll create a playlist on, uh, if you are watching it on YouTube, so you already uh, have it, if you're watching it on IGTV or uh, Facebook group. So we have a playlist on our YouTube channel where all the episodes will be uploaded so you can watch it there. So that's it from me. We're so done, we, right? we have another question here. Adding B2B prospects on Facebook. Is Harsh, it hi, Harsh. He's a good friend of mine. How is he? <laughs> How are you, Harsh? Adding B2B prospects on FB is acceptable? No, 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 no. He's asking about custom audience. On Facebook, uploading custom audio. Yes, of course you can upload. You can upload. You All can right. upload. I mean, that's yes. when we get into ads, right? Yes, 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 yes. That's, you, that's can, you can, you can, you can, you can do that. So uh, just post it on the group. I'll answer you. I'll reach out to you personally. You can do that. It's acceptable, right? You just need to uh, agree. There are a few policies. You need to agree to the terms that you didn't steal someone's email. You know, those you you bought the data, so you need. To, you bought an email list from somewhere, so you need to uh, mention that yes, this is a purchase purchase list. Or if it's your list, people opted in, so you need to check that uh, box on that it's my own list. So I hope I answered your question. So yeah, yeah. But right now, man, just focus on join uh, picking your niche, which you guys probably already have, right? Pick your niche. Uh, if you're doing an agency, pick an. You know, if you're choosing to do an industry agency, fine, then pick your industry niche. Go to the Facebook groups and join all the groups where the owners of those businesses are going to be. Like, I'm, I'm going to start joining. I, I belong to a couple, but I'm going to start joining more and more of roofing. Where are all, where all the roofing guys, right? The guys that own the roofing companies. And then you're going to go in there and you're going to start posting and chiming in on how to get leads. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't go in there and you say, hey, Hey, check out my company. Hey, check out my company. Hey, check out my company. You don't want to do that. You want to go in there and ask your value. Right. Right. Give them value. value. Help them. Show, you know, mm -hmm. show them what they're doing wrong. Just constantly post tips and answer questions. You want to do that in those in those groups and look at your profile and start. So when 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 you answer questions in those groups, they're going to look at to see who you are. And when they see your profile page, then they're going to see, hey, this guy runs an agency or hey, this guy um, you know, offers consulting and you know, in that spe in my specific niche, right? And I'm a roofer, and this guy offers helps people get roofing leads. Like, that's the that's the phase one part that you want to do right now, and then consider starting a group, right? Consider this profile group. funnel. It's it's like it's like client attraction machine. Using using profile funnel, you can make like I don't know. I know people doing hundred thousand dollar a month monthly recurring revenue just by optimizing their Facebook profile. True. I can I can share links. I know they're friends with me. I mean, like, look at me. I, I know myself. I mean, like, I, I have leveraged Facebook groups and profiles. I mean, I, I, I lost count how many clients I got from just groups and my, my own profile. So people reach out to you. They're warm prospects. It, it's a lot, lot better than, you know, uh, cold. So, yeah, I mean, like, optimizing your profile, building a personal brand is very, very important. It's very important. So you cannot ignore that. So that's, that's your job if you're starting out. So that's your number one priority. That should be, actually. Unless you have a lot of money and just want to start throwing ads. That's different. But yeah, we're right. Gonna, we're not going to build it that way because we want to show that you can do it from zero, right? I'm not going to go outside and stand in front of my Ferrari. I don't have a Ferrari, but I'm not going to go outside and stand in front of a rental car that, that looks nice or in front of my house just to show you. This is not about what we currently have right like i'm not going to go in here and show you my bank account you know if you want private i'll show you private if you don't believe that we've already been successful i'm not into posting about the things that i have we're going to do this from zero like 
we're not going to spend ads until we actually have paying clients and then we're going to reinvest that money. Uh, right. So uh, once we enter phase two, then we start, you know, we go all in uh, on ads. So phase one, it's completely, uh, completely all organic. Optimizing your profile funnel, joining Facebook groups, providing value, doing cold outreach, that's it. Our VA, all you need is a VA, right? So yeah, you need a VA and the system in place. So we'll that's share what we are doing. Yeah, that's the homework, right? That's the homework. So that's, I think that's it for today. That's it for episode one. See you guys at 100K. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, when you start, when you start uh, optimizing your profile page, share it in the group. So we can all go in there and give you um, some comments about what you're doing and what we like and what we don't like or whatever. Share, share your work inside the group. It's our group. It's private. You know, right. like no one needs to see. It. Um, yes, definitely yes. start doing that this week. You know, list the groups that you belong to or, you know, just share, share your progress, man. Share your progress. And that's the only way you're going to get help. Of course. Of course. Definitely. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the live, if you're watching uh, a recorded version on the Facebook group, it will be there for 24 hours and then it will move to our YouTube channel and on IGTV. Uh, on Instagram, it's instagram.com forward slash leads.ninja and we will, I'll post or me or Rory will post the YouTube uh, channel link on, we'll, we'll make a post once we are done. And yes, so that's the homework. Let's do it. Let's dive in. Right? Get to work, everybody. Yeah, man. I'm gonna go cut my grass. <laughs> yeah, right. So see you next Saturday, same time, 11 a.m. Eastern, and uh, that's it. That's it from me. Right. Later. Bye -bye. It's been real. Yeah.